All right, so the default budget finally made it into your boxes late this afternoon, and I did email it out to you. Um, let me just get to the right page here in my book, and I'll give you all the totals and all of that. So the 2019 board budget that is before uh, the budget committee right now is $28,192,606. The default budget that is presented to you tonight totals $27,594,483. That amount is $598,123 lower than the um, 2019 proposed budget. Right. And it's $752,171 higher than the 2018 budget. Um, so it's up 2.8% over the 2018 budget. <coughs> the first two pages that you had in your packet is a summary of all of the changes, all of the um, line items that changed from the 2018. You can see that the uh, large, largest um, portion there is made up of wage accounts that are a result of collective bargaining agreements or changes approved by the governing body. Mm -hmm. The second section is the benefit lines that are related to wages and therefore fluctuate with changes made to wages as approved by collective bargaining agreements and the governing body. Health insurance uh, is related to the rate increase that we had from Health Trust mm -hmm. and that's for the municipal section and the library. Life insurance, there is uh, an increase from 18 cents per thousand to 21 cents per thousand. Mm -hmm. That's a policy that's required by the, for the employee by contract. Employee benefits are related directly to the collective bargaining agreements that were previously approved by the legislative body. So in that section, you see your holiday pay, career incentives, uniform pay. Those are, um, everything in that section right there is strictly linked to a collective bargaining agreement that was approved by the legislative body. The line item for, let's see, what is this for? This is for the regular wages in the police, uh, the detect crime, uh, the detective section of the crime control section of the police budget. That's from the funding that was approved by the 2018 town meeting vote in article three of the school district warrant for the new school resource officer. Mm -hmm. The new equipment in fire is the next one. It's reduced to zero as in 2018, the budget amount was to purchase hydraulic tools for engine four, which has, was a one-time expenditure, so it cannot be in the default. So that has been removed. The rentals and leases in the solid waste collection is the, represents the funding approved by the 2018 town meeting vote uh, in article 13 for two Mac cab over trash trucks. That's mm -hmm. the lease there. And then um, Exeter sewer agreement, the legislative body approved the Exeter sewer agreement increase related to Exeter billing and it's, the increase is related to the Exeter billing rate. And then the last two are debt principal and debt interest, which we all know is only incurred once the legislative body has approved mm -hmm. some type of bond article in the past. Right. So that kind of gives you your summary there of the changes so that's what we have brought fred and jamie and i have and mark too sorry mark mark has been involved too but fred and jamie and i did the final reviews of this today um and we feel that we have brought forward mm -hmm. Good. to follow along with what the municipal association has recommended and shown us in their articles in town and city and trainings that we've all attended any questions? No, thank you very much. I have just a point of clarification. So these first two pages are outlining every single change from Hopefully. the default. <laughs> well, to I'm the best of my knowledge, to the best yes. Of your knowledge, I thought I counted up 67 lines, and I believe there are 67 it, I'm lines. I'm sure here. it's going to be close enough. And yeah. uh, thank good. you very much for this work. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean, so you've outlined all the changes. Yes. Why you? I mean, the, all the changes that are made are, are made by law, right? I mean, Correct. But when, um, according to the new, the changes to the law, that you have to present 
at the first public hearing. So this budget has to be presented in a way showing all of the changes. So we just did it now so that it won't have to be done again because it has to be opened up for a discussion at the public hearing and then again at the deliberative session. That's my understanding. So we just did it now because we built the default now. The default doesn't change along the way. Um, so I just took the time to do all of this now and we figured we might as well present it in this manner from here forward mm -hmm. if that's the way it has to be done at the public hearing anyway. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So we can get this out now to the Budget Committee? If you say so. I'll make that motion if we need a motion. I'll second. All right. Okay. Great. Those in favor? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chris.